Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And it is that time of the month again. We have the top five keyboard roundup under $40 this time. If you're looking to upgrade your gaming setup or you just bought a shiny new gaming PC and want an awesome mechanical keyboard for under 40 bucks, well, we got you covered in today's video. But before we dive into the keyboards, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. Make sure you use code TB20 at checkout to get 20% off your purchase, and it's really easy to activate Windows. All you have to do is take that product key they send you, literally copy and paste it, click activate, and boom, you have Windows 10 Pro activated, ready to go. Link in the description down below will link you to Windows 10, use TB20, save some money, activate Windows. Don't let friends use unactivated Windows. It's not good. Don't let it happen. Goodbye. So in these videos, we try to keep our roundups not super long. We don't want to bore you guys. So we just have these five keyboards. We basically unbox them, open them up, get them out on the table, just do a little look over, and then we just test out the keys, make sure everything works. We look at the RGB, and then we rate them on a scale from one to five. So let's just not waste any more time and dive right into it with this one. So the first keyboard we have here is the Zayu Long, Zayu Lang, I think it is. This is a 60% UK layout. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we're gonna get into it. It's the T60, it supposedly has blue switches, it has many RGB modes, it says that it's mechanical shaft, suspended keycap, all key, no rush, comfortable feel. All key, I, no rush. <laughs> I, I'm, I know what like none of that means, but we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Uh, we do believe that this com yep, comes with a mouse mat. And it's actually like their brand. It's actually not hideous. A lot of times when they do these mouse mats, they like have all this stupid branding on it. That's not too bad. The keyboard looks <laughs> nothing like I was expecting. <laughs> this is where it's fun. <laughs> it's blue. Yeah, so it's like all blue. And this this is a really familiar design. Like it's like a, what is it? The GMK 60 or whatever. Yeah. Just, just very basic, like, you know, all plastic, single piece housing. You can see here, T60 wired mechanical keyboard, five volt. Um, it has little rubber feet on the bottom. It does not have flip out feet. So it is one height fits all. But I mean, it looks nice. And those are blue switches. Red switches, not blue. Yeah, Why did I say? A... They're blue color. Yes, aha. Uh -huh. So those <laughs> but are reds. Yeah, red switches and my God, some of, them, some of them have some grit to them. Uh, let's see if we can pop one of these. Oh, it comes with a keycap puller. Of course it comes with a keycap yeah. puller. This was, so this was supposed to be blue, right? Oh, but we got reds. Yeah, definitely have reds. It looks like they are... Jixian. Jixian switches. Interesting. I don't think I've heard of those, but uh, I mean, this looks like a pretty pretty standard, like cherry style switch. Uh, pretty nice looking keycaps. I mean, the keyboard, so it's like 35 bucks and it comes with the mouse mat, which I feel like we got to give it a couple points for that. I really like this. USB-C, really nice like silicone um, cable that actually matches it. Like that's that's, that's kind of rare that you see a company go out and actually get like a cable that matches. So I don't know. I don't have any like major complaints so far. Let's go ahead and pop this on here. Plug it up and see what yeah, happens. Let's plug it up and just see what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. It's actually pretty good looking. So right now it looks like it's just on like a, I think it's on static, right? Yeah. I don't see it moving. Okay. It's flashing um, on camera, but. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> this is always the fun games. Oh. It's That's still gradient, but it has like a weight. Yeah, it looks like so maybe like it doesn't have like multi RGB. It's just like LEDs that are actually soldered in, but you can change like the, the pattern. That was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall looks really good. I'm curious what, what is this? It's just like their, I guess it's just their logo. It's like, probably like, where like that? the OEM is like, hey, right? put your They're logo They're like, here. insert your logo here. Uh, but no, I mean, it looks good and it seems to function well. I think let's just go ahead and do a little typing test and see how it does. So overall for 35 bucks, I'm not gonna lie, I, I did not like the keyboard at first, but it's kind of growing on me. I like the color. I really like that it didn't come with blue switches and that it happened to come with red switches because we like those here a lot more than the loud clicky ones. So I think for now, I mean, we can probably call this number one since we don't have any other things to compare it to, but I could see this being in like the top three. Next up, we have the InPet K81 keyboard. It is 10 keyless, has red switches. Let's just open this thing up. Now, InPet is a brand I've seen a lot on Amazon for their budget keyboards. They have a lot of different keyboards at a lot of different price points. But um, yeah, this looks like the standard uh, 10 keyless affair that a lot of these budget keyboards have. And they do have red switches, which 
is correct. There are red switches. In the box, you get this keycap puller and just basic stuff. Nothing too crazy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pop off a keycap here real quick just to verify what brand we have. Cod. And it's just COD, <laughs> the COD setting. Um, so it's a red switch and it looks like it's, I'm gonna have to do some uh, up close verification here. Put on, you got your readers on? Jixian, same thing as oh, that. Same thing. What the so heck? Jixian or whatever. So we got Jixian switches. If that's even how you say it, I could be totally wrong in there. So we got that going. Um, but let's look at the body of the keyboard. In the back, we have flip out feet. So that's cool. So you have different heights. It's not static like some of the other keyboards, non slip pads, but the cable is, well, stuck to the keyboard. That kind of sucks if you're wanting to uh, well, replace it with something fancy. But you know what? For a cheap keyboard, can't complain too much. And uh, build quality is pretty solid and it is a 10 kilo. So that means you get the number pad and arrow keys, which is pretty important to some people. Um, 10 kilos is the way to go and also save on desk space. So let's plug it up real quick quick and see what we got. Okay, so we are plugged up and we are looking at the same old gradient look. Um, we're gonna try to do function. I'm gonna try to do this upside down because why the hell not? Uh, function, this that's- that right there maybe? Yeah, this is brightness. This might be mode here. So it doesn't really change a whole lot. That's something. It's just like a reactive mode. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, that's something. This is another reactive mode another reactive mode. But what I'm getting at is it is the gradient RGB. It's nothing super crazy. So let's go ahead and try to, oh, let's do that. Look at that, boom, craziness. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, RGB is not the main selling point on here, but it does have backlight if you really want that. Let's do a typing test real quick. So I would say I didn't actually type on the other keyboard that Jackson had, but this one does feel a little bit smoother, uh, less like clacking noise, um, hitting like the back plate and stuff. It's probably just because this is all plastic and maybe that works a little better. I don't know, or it's better stabilized, but I think it really lacks a lot of features compared to the other keyboard. So I'd probably put it second. But if you just want a no thrills basic keyboard that'll work, I can see this being an option for some people. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have a pretty familiar face. This is the Mag key or mag mag magic key. Mag it's familiar, but I still don't know how to say it. Uh, so it actually says it has a metal panel, like is in a metal backplate, I assume. Uh, two color injection. I assume they mean like double shot. Uh, multiple lighting effects, high and low key layout, multimedia button, real mechanical shaft. Are you high key or low key? I'm a real mechanical shaft. <laughs> That's what I am. So this one here is actually a TKL, which is 87 key. It's a 10 kilos. Uh, Welcome to the whole keycap set. Whoa, that's what it means by double color. I they it really weren't that kidding. Color. What is this color? What? Why? Ooh. Wait, what? I don't know, man, but I, I do like this like multicolor. What, what is that one? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, well, um, so, so we, we're a little bit confused. I'm gonna assume maybe these are those fancier, a little double shot. Is the font different? No, it's just opposite black and to gray, oh, gray to black. Wow, that's a lot to include in a $30 keyboard. <laughs> that, no, that is. I'm like, did they, is that where all the budget went? Um, but no, I mean, it's actually a really nice looking keyboard. We actually have flip out feet. We do just have a fixed cable, similar to the last one. It's a little bit thicker. Um, actually getting into here, we do have red switches of the same brand. Yep, J Jackson. I think these are all gonna be that brand or however you say it. Um, but this one just looks very clean. Like that last one, I would consider it to be pretty boring. This one, they added that extra fun by adding this color to it. It looks like we do actually- It's like aluminum. It's like a big maybe. I mean, it, yeah, um, we'll, we'll say it says it's metal. So yeah, we'll assume it's aluminum. It just feels, it still feels cheap. This is all plastic. I can tell you that the whole housing is plastic, but um, it sounds really good. I like how it's kind of enclosed. So it's actually, the keys are sunk down a little bit. It looks like it could be hot swap, but I don't know, who knows? Because those aren't super stiff in there, but you know, we're, we're, not, we're not here to test that. No, nobody cares about that on a keyboard this cheap, right? But I think it's time that we do a little typey testy. All right, we are plugged in and this is looking pretty fluent so far, but do we have RGB? That's the real question, because this looks like it's kind of just backlit. I think this one is just white. If I... You think so? I think so. Yeah, it kind of seems like it, because most keyboards want to like go deco mode off the, off the start. And I don't see anything that looks like it'd be like, a way to change it. Just put this red one on here. That looks fun. It's like a <laughs> now it's RGB. Yeah, exactly. We have red, gray, black. RGB. Wow. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually though, but uh, I mean this is really bright. 
compared to like the RGB ones, we can like look at it from the back angle. Uh, this is definitely the brightest, but the downside is you do not have RGB, which some people might not care about. I mean, there's a lot of people that would just rather have like a, a bluish white backlighting like this rather than, you know, all these crazy colors. Timing test? Timing test. I'm thinking this one's definitely going in second. I mean, we, yeah. we can probably agree with that just because it looks way cleaner. I mean, sure it doesn't have the RGB, but it looks so much better. So second place, which means we still have the, the nice blue boy in first. Will it get beat? I don't know. Next up, we have the Stoga, which is a 87 key, 10 keyless keyboard with blue switches. So for those who like the clickety clackety, we got you covered with this one. We're gonna go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside. And here we have US Scratch for prizes. Bro, bro, bro. Uh, <laughs> bro, uh, can she's a screwdriver? Sure. It's 20 to $100, only 300. 20? 20. Do I get $20? Bucks. How does or, that work? I don't know. It says lifetime warranty, pull your BLS, contact us for your prizes. Oh my gosh. They're probably, you know what? I bet we contact them for the 20 and they say leave us a five star review. That's probably what's going to happen. So, Stoga. Oh, look at this. There's a link directly to leave an Amazon review. Hey. That's how, that's how it works. But we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh my God, there's so much. Like, like why do you need all that? Okay. In case you Stoga. don't know how to work your You're going to hear those clickies clicking. Wow, this is really well built actually. Um, so here we go. We have a little bit of a grayish color. It's not necessarily Ooh. all black. And then we have these red switches, red switches, red keycaps that look pretty <laughs> cool. Um, the, uh, the whole build of this just looks really nice. So we're gonna go and take this keycap off. That really came off easily. Um, there's a blue, blue switch. I don't know what brand it is. I'm gonna jack I'll zoom in for you, dude. I think it's Jake's in again. I, I think. Remember? Unless you wanna zoom in with your eyes and tell me. B-Sun. <laughs> It's B Sun. B Sun. Never heard of that one, but there we go. B Sun. I'm just gonna say this. This is like the loosest <laughs> keycap I've ever felt. But there we go. What we have right here, though, are two, these little mode buttons, which I think is like, uh, it looks like a power button. Um, looks like a sleep <laughs> mode. These are all like Windows keys, I yeah. believe. So sleep. Calculate. We have a mute button, which is really cool, and a volume knob. That's actually Ooh. a pretty cool feature. Honestly, I never use that on a keyboard that I have, but it is cool to have for those who actually want to use a feature like that. Um, oh, let me go and look at the bottom here real quick. We do have two flip-out feet, which are pretty sturdy. Kind of like them. Ooh, and then quad. Yeah, quad. It's got the quad feet. Oh, it has the quad feet. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's actually pretty cool. Jeez. We got multiple heights there and the non-slip pads, so not too shabby. Let's just go and plug this thing up. What is oh, it? Oh, USB-C, dude, high school oh, cable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's RGB. <gasps> that's RGB, baby. Real RGB. So, so we got some real RGB, it looks really nice. Um, the only downside I would say, and could be a pro for some people, is it only comes in blue switches from what I've seen. The build quality is really solid though. This is a really well-built keyboard and it has a unique design I haven't seen very much. So let's just go ahead and do a typing test and hear all those clickety clackities. What I would say for a blue switch keyboard, the keys feel pretty solid. The only thing is that space bar is pretty wobbly, doesn't sound the greatest. Um, but as a keyboard overall, I do like it. I'm not totally sure if it takes the top spot though. I feel like if this had red switches, we would be like, heck yeah, number one overall. Um, so this may be number one in your eyes if you like blue switches, but I would say this is a very close second, maybe tied for first. We'll probably discuss this again after we see the very last keyboard, but uh, yeah, really good contender. And lastly, we have just, I think, a bigger mechanical keyboard from the Maga Key, Mage Key Company. And it looks like this one is also black and gray. Uh, it says PC Gamers, so that's that's for us. That's awesome. But, uh, you know, this one, honestly, we're not a fan of full-size keyboards. It, it's definitely going to be tough for this one to, I guess you could say, contend. But look at that, same deal. It comes with the extra keycaps, which, once again, I, th I think it's super cool. I mean, I don't really, like, see the need to change them personally. I wouldn't do it. But at the same time, if you really think that you like this a lot, then you could go with that route, and you kind of get them for free. So it comes with the same stuff, keycap puller, random red key for escape. Uh, it looks like we have the same kind of feet. We have a nice braided cable, but it is always plugged in. And we I think have- the other one wasn't braided, actually. I'm looking at yeah, it right now. So that's it was. A... Yeah, so it is a little bit different. Red switches that feel, 
I feel like pretty stiff red switches. They almost feel like like black switches, I think it is, where they have like a really like feel that. Hmm. What that's, we got here? That's tough. I think it is red though. The red switch, it looks like it's the Yeah, it is. It's the J Jake C and it's Jackson. The Jackson switch. We're calling the Jackson, it the Jackson special, switch. dude. So uh, well, you know what Matt already did it, so we gotta put that on there now. Gotta do our replacement. The detonation button. Boop, boop, boop. I feel like I did it back. You did it upside down, but okay. it's fine. You know, I'm gonna fix it because now it bothers me. But let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. To the same backlight. The same exact backlighting, probably. I gotta, gotta undo this. Just to... We got it plugged in, and yeah, exact same. same. I honestly forgot this one's not RGB, it's just plain. So I don't really see how this one would overlap the other one down there because honestly, the other one, just the fact that they get rid of this, just looks so much cleaner to us. So we're gonna say that this is probably. What do you think, second to last? Second. Because that, that one keyword that we checked out, definitely, I mean, the cable wasn't good, backlight didn't look the best, it didn't sound the greatest, so I think this one's second to last. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this one in fourth place, and then we're gonna go ahead and just talk about our decisions. All right guys, so we made our final decision. The referees, the coaches, the judges have made their decisions and we put the Zayu Lang up front and sadly the Impet in the back, which is funny because Impet's actually a brand that's pretty familiar. And Stoga right here, I think is a contender for the top spot. You might be able to find this keyboard with different switches if you're a red switch fan, but if you're a blue switch fan, these will probably be like swapped for you because you really like blue switches. So yeah, all these keyboards are good and I can see a reason for buying any one of these keyboards. And if you want to pick any of them up, links in the description down below, be a fill links and it will help us out. Let us know what your budget is or what budget you want to see for the next roundup. And if there's any other products like headsets, mice, and a lot of other things that you want to see in a roundup video from the Toasty Bros, let us know down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace Goodbye. Out. And if you want to pick up some of these cool keyboards, you can actually come into our store at PC Bros. PC Bros. Tech is our PC selling business. So we have a store in Louisville, Kentucky, or you can buy, well, PC stuff online, gaming PCs, laptops, and all that sort of fun stuff. So check out our website, PC Bros. Tech. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.